For the NCOs, please continue to mentor those below Every you. year, dozens of 139th right. members compete for the coveted Airman of the Year Award. To even be considered for the award, your supervisors have to submit your name to the Board of Chiefs. Once the board selects all the nominees, the nominees must don their dress uniforms and stand before the Chiefs for the final interview process. You know, it's always difficult at our base. I talk to other bases that, you know, they might only have one or two nominees. It's quite, you know, easy for them. But for us, there's usually at least six in every level. So it's, it's, a, it's a tight competition, and, and uh, we've got a lot of great people here at the 139th. So. The Board of Chiefs look for self-improvement and job performance, community service, and education. Senior Airman Eric Groven, a 139th crew chief, won the Airman of the Year award in the Airman category. I didn't really know what to think, but I was happy. You know, um, I just come out here, I do exactly what they tell me to do, I work hard as I can, and you know, it feels good to know that somebody, hey, sees, sees I'm doing that. Master so. Sergeant John Stone from Security Forces won in the Senior NCO category. Staff Sergeant Matthew Couchman in Operations won in the NCO category. Master Sergeant David Album from the Wing Headquarters won in the First Sergeant category and Captain Chad Banworth in the 180th Airlift Squadron won in the officer category. These winners will compete in the statewide competition next month. Reporting for the 139th Airlift Wing, I'm Staff Sergeant Michael Crane. Makes you a winner in every category.